Hi there folks, my name's Novawin24 from msflights.net and welcome to another little tutorial in uh, in how to do all those fun things that we used to do in the box edition uh, for our new adventure into Microsoft Flight Simulator 10 Steam Edition. So today we're going to be doing a short little tutorial on how to actually put all those shiny new, those cool new liveries that you can see for aircraft and install them into your simulator so you can zip around in your favourite colour scheme. So for those who've been playing FSX for some time, or those who are brand new to Steam Edition, uh, you've possibly seen screenshots and videos kicking around the internet of people flying aircraft that you might be familiar with, like default or other popular aircraft, um, but they're in skins or in liveries uh, that aren't normally included as part of the delivery package. So. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking the two aircraft that we installed in a previous tutorial on how to actually put your own custom aircraft into FSX. We're going to be putting some custom liveries onto those two aircraft today. Alright, so first things first, you're going to be needing to uh, find and download the liveries that you want. Now today, as I said, we're going to be doing two liveries uh, for the two aircraft that we installed uh, as part of a previous tutorial. So we're doing a livery for the Basla BT-67, so this one's going to be the livery of msflights.net community, uh, graciously provided and done by Hogdog for Life, one of the leading team members there over at msflights.net. And we're also going to be installing a a slightly fictional, but um, yeah, oh, I think it's pretty good uh, delivery into Dino Cataneo's T-45C uh, in the fictional colours of the Royal Australian Navy, done by nobody yet, no, no others than yours truly. Alright, so first off, we're going to, you're going to have downloaded these ones. I am going to be providing the download links for these in the description of the video down below if you do want to uh, try this out yourself with these uh, instructional ones. Alright, so First things first, we've downloaded it, now we need to extract these to their own directory. So we're going to highlight, and we're going to extract, there we go, da 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 da. Alright, now just like in quality, as I was saying before about quality add-ons for aircraft, uh, quality add-ons for liveries as well are going to usually be done in a fairly, fairly consistent kind of manner. So first off, you're going to be, when you open up the folder, once you've extracted it, you're going to be seeing a texture dot and then something else, so in this case, yeah, in this case, texture.msf, and of course, you're going to have the usual instructional readme file as well. So, first off, let's have a quick look at the readme file. All right. So your basic readme, so it's saying you know, usual things. Who was it's actually created by? Was created for? Fun, fun, fun. Now, this is probably the the key part here. So. A lot of these liveries out there are going to be, of course, created primarily for the box edition, but these uh, paths are essentially the same in FSX Steam Edition because one of the great things that Dovetail did is they kept most of the file structure exactly the same, except instead of installing to program files games, it's going to be installed into your Steam directory. Alright, so we can see here that we talk about you know, where you can find the main aircraft, you know, it assumes that you've already installed things, and then we're going to go through this little section here. Now this here is what actually tells your simulator that to actually look for the extra delivery that you're going to be using. So we're going to have flight sim dot num dot a number, well XX for sometimes, and we're going to have the title, what it's referring to, models referring to, blah blah blah. And this is probably the key one here, the texture equals. Okay. So, we've got that one there. Now, let's have a look. Let's go over to our Steam directory. Okay, so we've gone to our Steam library, we go into Steam apps, we go into common, go to FSX. And these are all our wonderful FSX folders. So, you remember last time during the tutorial, we sort of just only had to sort of paste into this main directory, but now we're going to be doing a bit more fine work. So, we need to go down to where we see sim objects. And we're going to need to go into sim objects. Now, of course, these are uh, aircraft that we're going to be doing today. So we're going to airplanes. I, I kind of hate that, but I know it's an American title, so I've got to get used to it. But yeah, it still grates a little bit. Anyway, so we're going now into the Basler BT-67, because this is what we're doing. Okay, so as you can see here, this is a pretty standard sort of layout of aircraft here. So you can see the texture dot, your know, texture, and then a texture dot, blah, blah, blah. So these are for the aircraft that are currently preload into the aircraft config file. Speaking of the aircraft config file, you see an air file here called aircraft.cfg. Now, unless you've done this kind of stuff before, um, by default it won't have a file type associated to it. My suggestion is you associate it with Notepad. Um, it's the easiest one to actually use it with. So we're going to double click and we're going to open that up. Alright, so here we can see this is all... Now, 
all the stuff you know so it describes what it's looking for the models that I like it's also got things like you know where the cameras are in the aircraft um, basic flight dynamics and that kind of stuff are also in here as well so yeah it, it's it's a pretty in-depth kind of document piece of advice don't mess with this just just don't like unless you're really confident and really know what you're doing do not mess with anything in there apart from these uh, actual flight sim like le livery entries. Just, just don't do it, okay? Otherwise, the thing is going to do oh, go horribly, horribly wrong for you in most cases. Anyway, all right. So, do 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 do. All right, we can see here we got flight sim dot zero one two three. Okay, so that's that one there. So these are the four that are currently preloaded and automatically as part of the installer package. So now what we're going to do. I mean, we're going to be copying a couple of things today. So we're going to go back to our extracted directory. We're going to grab our folder, which is texture.msf. So we're going to be copying that one today. And then we're going to go over to the folder here. So this is, we're now inside our Basler folder. And we are going to be pasting the texture.msf folder there. And ta-da, there it is. So in here will be various DDS or BMP files, depending on what it's used for. Okay, da da da. Okay. So the gen general format, you'll see a whole heap of DDS or BMP files um, and a texture.config. So this is, uh, don't worry too much about this one at the moment. Um, if you get into more skinning and stuff like that, which we may cover off in a future tutorial, um, this is going to become more important. But for now, just focus on the fact that you put it there and the folder's there. Excellent. All right, next step. So our next step is going to be going back to our readme file and we're going to be copying here we're going to highlight and we're going to copy the section from the Skinner, the livery repainter, and we're going to be copying that. Okay, now most of the time you'll see this is flightsim.xx where you replace the X with the next number of sequence. Now, uh, Hogdog has left it as a 4 because m for most people this will be the first livery that they're actually putting into their Basler. So now we're going to go over to the aircraft.cfg for the Basler. Now, just a reminder that we found that one from here. That's it there. Okay, so in there. Now, I'm going to scroll. So we've got our 1023, and we are going to paste what we've just copied there. Okay, now, as you can see, it's already followed on, because Hog's already done that one, because it's the first thing we've done here, but for some other installs, like the one you'll see in a moment, you normally have to re type your own number in there. But anyway, so we can see here, it's the same format that the previous entries are. Uh, big one is that it's referring to texture equals MSF. Now, Quick explanation, so texture equals is whatever's after the texture dot there. So we'll scroll up here, we'll see this one here it says texture equals RTAF underscore 46158 and that refers therefore to texture dot RTAF underscore 46158. Okay, so that's the main thing you need to worry about. And also these, the title and the UI variation have to be unique. If they're not unique, the uh, flight sim will simply say non-unique detected and will not display the second entry. It will only display the first one. So, <coughs> important little tip for if you are making your own skins. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to save that file now. Okay, that's one done. Okay, we're going to close that one as well. Now, let's go back and have a look. Okay, so let's do another one. So this is the T45C from Dino Cataneo in Royal Australian Navy Colours. Done by yours truly. Alright, so we're going to, again, we've got this one. This one's got a couple of screenshots of what it's going to look like on your aircraft. So again, we've got our readme file and we've got a texture dot directory. So we're going to open up your readme. So again, a little bit of do, 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 a little bit of background, fictional story there, installation directions, blah, blah, blah. There we go. Okay. So, first step. Let's copy this one. So we're going to copy that folder. So we're going to go up from our Basler directory, because this is obviously this scheme is not for the Basler. And we are going to go up, and we're going to find the Boeing T45C directory. Oh, there it is. So these are the ones that are already in place there from the installer. So we're going to paste our RAN direct texture.ran directory. There it is. So it's got a couple of DDS files. Oh, there. Excellent, excellent. So we're now going to open up the aircraft.cfg file. So you can scroll through here. Now uh, Dino's quite good. He gives us quite a few schemes for this one. So we're going to scroll down a little bit further. He's got nine, I think. Yep, he's got ten schemes in there, so we've got a copy there. All right, so now we're going to go back to our README file. We're going to copy this section entry again. Do, do, 
do copy go back to our aircraft.config and we are going to paste now of course this time uh, we can see here so it's flight sim.9 and then we've got flight sim.xx so we're going to replace xx with the next number in sequence in this case it'll be 10 and now we are going to save that one there there we are done and saved all right so we'll close that one close the readme file now Okay, so we've now added two liveries to our two aircraft that we added in before in the previous tutorial. Now what we're going to do is we are now going to fire up FSX uh, for Steam Edition and we are going to see what we can see. Alright, so we've loaded in, nice and fast. What I love about the Steam Edition is just so much faster. It handles memory so much better. Alright, so first off, let's have a look at the Basler. Alright, so we're going to echo manufacturer, go to Basler. Okay, so you can see here a little question mark and a little blank thing. Now, this is because um, the repainter hasn't provided a thumbnail for us. So, um, so you just normally put a thumbnail.jpg. Uh, small little JPEG in the directory there for it to refer to. This one doesn't have one, but that's okay. We'll still have a look at the aeroplane. Details. And there it is. So as I said, this one was done for Hogdog for Life uh, from msflights.net. Uh, he did it as part of the virtual airline that msflights.net uh, runs. So we've got the amazing msflights.net logo, and we've got a sort of the two-tone color scheme there for the Basler. Quite impressive. Um, I, I, I always like the little sort of like grit and dirt that he's managed to put onto the uh, lower part of the fuselage. I think it's kind of cool. So there we are. So there's our first one. Okay. Now our second one, of course, that we looked at was the T45C Goshawk in the fictional Royal Australian Navy settings. And here it is. So this one there. Uh, so it picked up the thumbnail file that I have details and there it is all right so there we are all on display in fictional Royal Australian Navy colors so there you go added so there we are we've added two new liveries for us to zip around virtual simulated skies in with two of my favorite aircraft for FSX so there you go folks all right folks well thanks very much for tuning in today uh, this has been a quick little tutorial on how to put in your own custom liveries uh, for your favorite aircraft that you can put into FSX, into both Steam Edition and to Normal. So um, this tutorial can be utilized for Standard Box Edition as well. Just um, change the directory that you, your master FSX directory, um, so you don't have to look for the Steam folder, because the great thing is the file structure and the file format is exactly the same for both FSX and FSX Steam Edition. Alright folks, well as I said, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to stay tuned over the guys at msflights.net for all your latest uh, simulation events and fun things. You can also stay in touch with myself personally. Uh, you can stay in touch with my YouTube channel on just search NovaWing24. And you can also stay in touch with me on Facebook and on Twitter, just search NovaWing24. You can also stay in touch with the guys over at msflights.net on Facebook as well. Just uh, also search msflights.net on the, for there on Facebook. Well, folks, thanks very much for tuning in. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you in Simulator Skies very soon. Bye for now.